Hi all. As I promised in one of the videos, today I will tell you about the Ukrainian traditional stuffing of a turkey. I learned to do this from my mom. She stuffed chicken this way. This year I bought a small turkey because after one party at our house we were invited to visit friends. A small turkey weights 3 to 5 kilograms. This one is 5 kilograms. For stuffing you will need 1 pound of chicken stomachs, hearts, and livers. But you can usually find packages of more than one pound. This amount of stuffing is enough for an average turkey size. But it's okay, I'll show you what I make with the extra stuffing. First, all this needs to be rinsed with cold water. It is necessary to check the liver and remove gallbladders, if any, otherwise the filling will be bitter. For stuffing you will need two medium carrots and one large onion, or two medium ones. Carrots and onions must be peeled. I also use some bread, or a bun. These are usually leftovers that I dry or freeze. If necessary, I add milk to soften the bun or bread. You can use bread crumbs instead of bread. Usually no more than two cups. I'll talk about other ingredients throughout the video. So, we begin to prepare minced meat from gizzards, liver and hearts. Traditionally, my husband helps me grind all the ingredients for stuffing. We use an old Soviet meat grinder that my mother brought many years ago. But you can use modern electronic meat grinders. Of course, I add a small bunch of my own herbs, rosemary, oregano, parsley, chives, thyme, pineapple mint. But you can add dry spices and herbs. When everything is ground, I add two eggs. I also add one teaspoon ground black pepper. Poultry seasoning is very strong in taste, so I add no more than one teaspoon. If you use your own herbs, then you don't have to add any seasoning. Also, you need to salt everything. One tablespoon of salt is enough for this amount of ground meat, but I prefer to add Vegeta. Now you need to mix all the ingredients thoroughly. If the stuffing seems runny, add a little more breadcrumbs, but baking will reduce the amount of liquid in the stuffing. The stuffing can be left in the refrigerator overnight if you plan to stuff the turkey in the morning. Well, you can finally start stuffing. But before I start, I make sure I have enough skin to cover the turkey's opening. Additional skin can usually be found in the back of the neck area. I cut it off with scissors and leave it for the belly. And now I start stuffing and sewing up the hole. I use dark thread so they will be visible after baking. I have performed many operations on people, but I will not teach you how to suture the skin correctly. Just try to maintain 5 to 7 millimeters, less than half of inch from the edge for piercing with a needle. But if you're in med school, you can practice suturing on a turkey. Once the top is done, I start on the bottom. And this is where skin scraps can come in handy. I'll add them, or rather sew them on, so that I have something to cover the hole. Nowadays, labiaplasty is in fashion among women. Well, we'll give the turkey a new labia minora. Or big ones. As a gynecologist, I joke, and sometimes my jokes are strange but my colleagues will understand me. If you are using a frozen turkey, you need to defrost it in cold water and check the inside, because there may often be neck, liver and gizzard in there. Use a paper towel to remove excess water and blood from the inside. Oh, it seems I didn't take everything from inside. I'll check it again now. <laughs> Now I'm going to stuff this turkey and gradually sew up the edges. As you can see, a lot of stuffing goes inside. So, everything is done. How beautifully I close the hole. I hope it doesn't come apart and the skin doesn't crack. 
Now I'll share a tip. If you want a nice golden brown skin on your turkey, use mayonnaise. Spread mayonnaise on turkey skin and sprinkle with your favorite spices. This time I decided to try a new mix with maple syrup and bacon. The lid is too small so I will cover the turkey with aluminum foil. I try to cover it so that the foil does not stick to the breast. The foil will prevent rapid loss of liquid and your turkey will not be dry. It will also be baked faster. I don't preheat the oven. When you put a turkey in the oven, the temperature of it also rises as the oven heats up. This speeds up baking. To bake, use 380 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for a minimum of 3 hours. I do not carry out special time calculations, as I have extensive baking experience. A small turkey is baked for up to 3 hours, a medium one for 4 hours, and a large one for 5 to 6 hours. And I put the remaining stuffing in a baking dish and bake it like meatloaf for 1.5 hours. I remove the foil or lid about half an hour before it's ready to give it a nice golden crust. So, the turkey is ready. Look how beautiful it is. The skin is intact, no cracks. And the smell is simply amazing. Bon appetit. If you like this video, don't skimp on your likes. Subscribe to my channel and write comments. Bye.